The Olympic Games get started in tennis on July 27th. So with that being said, let's look at some contenders in this year's Olympic Games. What's up, everybody? It's John Eric Poli, and in today's video, we're looking at contenders to win an Olympic medal in this year's Games. These Games, of course, being held in Paris at Roland Garros. So going to be a fun tournament. Just before I get started, want to give you guys a heads up, too, that I posted a video on long shots to get an Olympic medal. That video is found on this channel. Also, by the way, these people in this video are contenders, not favorites. I will have the favorites to win the medals coming up in the later part of this week. So with that being said, let's get started by talking about people who are in contention in this year's Summer Olympic Games by starting with a guy that's won two Olympic gold medals before. I'm talking about the greatest clay court player to ever exist, Rafa Nadal. Nadal, of course, one of the greatest players of all time, a 22-time major champion. Like I said, won gold in singles in 2008 and 2016. He also won Olympic gold in doubles. He's going to team up with Carlos Alcarez in doubles this year. That's going to be really fun. But still, given what he's uh, accomplished in the sport, definitely going to be a contender in this year's French Open. But you guys know the story with Rafa this year here in 2024. 2024-year-old Rafa is not the Rafa of old, okay? Rafa, he's been banged up. He's been injured. It has been the prettiest at times. Again, let's see if he could do anything here on the clay courts. He's obviously, like I said, the greatest clay court player that's ever stepped foot on the clay courts at Roland Garros. All right, guys, let's move along now here today. Next guy I want to talk about is Holger Rune. Rune, definitely a very good clay court player. He has all the tools in the world to make a run here. But again, another guy that's had some troubles when big major opportunities are looking him square in the face here. I think he's gotten a little bit better here with some things, but at the end of the day, he's going to have to step his game up a little bit. Now, we know he has all the talent in the world. He's still a young player. No doubt about it. One day, he is going to be one of the top players in the world. Let's see if he can take a major step here and claim an Olympic medal. Next guy I'm going to talk about here today is an American, Taylor Fritz. Fritz, guys, is actually having a pretty good 2024 overall. He's made some very deep runs into some tournaments. He's coming off a Wimbledon where he just made the quarterfinals. I thought he missed an opportunity there to make the semifinals, in my honest opinion. But still, you got to like Taylor Fritz. Um, he had a pretty decent clay season as well. Definitely a guy to keep an eye on here in this year's Olympic Games. Probably America's best chance of getting a medal in the men's side of things in this year's Olympic Games. Now, this next guy is somebody you could maybe even want to make a case to put him into the favorites, but I just can't do it on the clay court, guys. I'm sorry, I can't. It's Daniil Medvedev. Medvedev, one of the most consistent guys on tour, uh, a major champion winning at the U.S. Open. He's made several uh, uh, finals appearances, uh, a lot of semifinals appearances, but him and clay courts just aren't the best mix here, but still, being how talented he is, definitely is a guy that could be a contender to get an Olympic medal this year in Paris. Now, one last guy here on this list that I want to talk about here today, and it's somebody from the country of Greece, Stefano Zizipas. Zizipas, as you guys know, made a French Open final before, really should have won that year's French Open, too. He was up two sets to love on Novak Djokovic. Djokovic comes all the way back. He wins a third set very, very closely, and then just goes on to completely route ZZ Pass from there, but ZZ Pass definitely has what it takes on clay. And let's not forget, he does have a clay tournament championship here in 2024, winning Monte Carlo a few months ago. So ZZ Pass, definitely somebody who's going to be in the mix of things, definitely a contender in this year's Olympics. So that was the men's list of contenders for this year's Summer Olympic Games. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Tomorrow there will be the same list coming out on women's contenders. So make sure you guys are keeping an eye out for that and continued coverage of this year's Summer Olympics right here.